Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your re reading for, what is it, June 4th through the 10th. This is a weekly reading. Generally my readings are love readings. Uh, just take what resonates and leave the rest. The whole thing may not resonate with you, just bits and pieces could. I'm going to get two oracle cards, one from this deck and one from this deck. And if it flips over, if it flips over, then you're going to get to see it now. Okay, this one happened to flip over in the deck, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you, Pisces. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Calling in your soulmate. Beautiful, huh? Is that what you're doing? Talking to her, talking to him, talking to your soulmate through, you know, telepathy. I don't know. This is, because that's what calling in your soulmate is. It's manifesting it, you know. Can you feel each other? Are you talking to each other? This is for Pisces. Now let's get one of these. It's like that song, A Talking to the Moon. But, yeah. This Pisces needs to know for this full, full, full first full week of June 2018. Here it is. What does Pisces need to know? There's an ability to call in your soulmate, okay? Whether you pick up the phone and you call them or you do it, you know, mentally. Three of Wands reversed. I feel like you may feel like you've been wasting your time. There's wasted efforts here. Um, are you clear on what you really want? Are you? I mean, do you really know what you want? Oh, it feels like the, somebody's gotten caught. I mean, the Seven of Swords reversed. The truth has come out. Somebody's gotten caught, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. The cheating, the lies, the deception has been, come out. The truth has come out. If it hasn't, it's going to happen. Somebody's going to get caught. So this week, you know, if somebody's been cheating, you could get caught. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Or if they've been lying to you. I mean, that's what this card means. Somebody's about to get caught. Be careful. Third party situation, perhaps. Okay, because there's a three here. But it feels as though um, you're, you really need to live in the moment. You do. You need, And that, maybe that's what you've been doing. You have been living in the moment, right? Mm. Oh, God, I really feel like there's a third-party situation here. I mean, we have threes on both ends. There could certainly be, you know, threes a crowd, whether it's a sexual thing or, you know, a child in your partner. There's three, three, three people don't always d agree, okay? So there's a third-party situation here. You could be calling in your soulmate, and your soulmate could be with someone else. A third-party situation can play out in so many ways. But I think that you've really been working hard on something. You have. Maybe you've been working hard on coming together with this soulmate. That could certainly be the case. It looks like maybe you're w willing to make some compromises. This is a card of compromise, communication, teamwork, coming together, working together. And so it looks like maybe some truth has been revealed that pushes you to want to work together. Now, this card, this Three of Wands, they can all mean so many things, especially with the cards that are next to them. This card, the Three of Wands in reverse, can also mean that, you know, somebody may be wanting to start a relationship with you but you're not giving them a chance or they're not giving you a chance you know it couldn't go either way but i really feel like somebody has 
felt like they've been wasting their time as well. They know something is up. You know, it could go so many different ways. But I don't... Well, let me get some more cards and then we'll go from there. Pisces, you, this, you haven't been following your intuition? What the hell? Is your intuition telling you to do something, to work on something, to bring something together, and you haven't been doing it? I mean, that's what this looks like. The high priestess is in reverse. Is somebody who's ignoring the nudge. They're ignoring the intuition. They're ignoring the call. They are ignoring what they know to be true. The, and that is the truth with this card. This is ignoring the truth. I mean, we got two of them now. This this card is ignoring the truth. It is. Interesting. So I believe that this week you're probably still very indecisive about coming together with someone. You're still indecisive. Maybe there's been some sneaky behavior and somebody's afraid of getting caught. You know, whatever happened, you know, whatever. Um, this chariot card, this is a cancer, all right, um, the sign of cancer, but it's also about moving forward, headed in the right direction. You need to be the master of your emotions and go after what you want to find success. And it's right now, move quickly, get moving, okay? This is about willpower to, that will bring victory and success. But right now you're ignoring something. You're absolutely ignoring the truth. And that is, but the truth is going to come out. You can't ignore it forever. So perhaps this truth that you've been ignoring for so long can no longer be ignored. And that's why this card is here. Interesting. Somebody's clinging to a past relationship. That's the meaning of this card. I can't change it. That is the meaning of the card. Clinging to a past relationship. In reverse, that's what it means. This card is discontent, unable to have love or accept love or even see love from any other direction. It feels like there's a mi this card, if you were to look it up, it's a missed opportunity in love. Because you're not following your intuition. Somebody's not following their intuition. And it's causing a lot of emotional discomfort, okay? There could be some regrets here. There is. There's some regrets over something in the past. Maybe there's regrets about moving on from the past. This is moving on from the past, but somebody isn't over the past because it's reversed. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of heartache and loss and disappointment and regrets. But still not really truly accepting the truth of the situation. I mean, that's what this card means. I think you have to make a difficult decision. You've been sitting on the fence about this decision. You're at a crossroads and you're being torn. Do you, do you go or not? What are you going to do? You're really torn. You have to make a, more, a very difficult decision. And it feels like you've been turned. This is denial. You've been turning a blind eye to the truth. You're, this is denial as well. You have been in denial. And therefore, you've lost or missed an opportunity or somebody or the person you're dealing with. Now, I forgot to mention in your last reading, this can always go vice versa. This, does, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody has missed an opportunity in love because they refuse to accept their, the truth of the situation. That's what it is. They refuse to accept the truth and follow their, their intuition. I will not follow my intuition. I will not. This is what this card is. And this is denial of the truth. So, so somebody is in denial. And blame is an issue. You can't, don't point the finger at the other person. Anyway. I think you've been working hard. You have. You've been working really, really hard to change something, to make this change, of some, to transform yourself. And I think that you have. I think that you have transformed. You're probably not the same person that you were before before something happened. I mean, that's, that's the chariot card is also a transformation card. So you have been through some sort of transformation. You've learned something. I can see that you have. But, you know, you may still be feeling withdrawn, cold, and detached at this time. 
Or you could be dealing with somebody who's withdrawn, cold, and detached. Now, the, the easiest thing to do would be to point the finger at the other person, right? Anyhow, this right here, um, this Knight of Wentacles, well, this Knight of Wentacles, <laughs> I was combining wands with pentacles, isn't that funny? Um, because I saw the wands, but I don't know why I was thinking pentacles, um, whatever. Knight of Wands is take action. Act now, act now, act now. The meaning of this card, act now, think later, take action right now. Swift action. But that's your that's advice for you. Take action right now. The Six of Swords in reverse is somebody who is reluctant, reluctant to move on, reluctant to follow through, reluctant to bring that peace and harmony back to their life, not following your intuition, not coming together. There is an opportunity to come together with some compromises and some communication, but somebody is reluctant to see the new approach, even though they do see the new approach. I see that they do. They've learned, they've grown, they've transformed, and they do see the truth, but they don't want to believe the truth, and that's what the case is. There's a lot of heartache here. There's suffering. Suffering brings true growth. I think, Pisces, you have grown. You're not the same person you were before. And at this point, you're withdrawn. You are. You're withdrawn and you're detached and you're cold-hearted because you feel lost in love. And that's what it looks like to me. So I feel like you're still suffering this week. You're going through some pain. It's, it's evident that you are still going through some pain. I don't care. People can try to change this all they want, but... You are still going through some pain. It's it's here. It is. It's here. Okay? You're still suffering somehow. And I feel like at this point, you know, it's about being happy. It's not about proving yourself anymore. The Five of Swords in reverse. The meaning of that card is, is do you really still need to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? That's the meaning of this card. What's it going to be? Is it about proving yourself, proving your, that you were right, or proving whatever, or do you want happiness? Because there's somebody in your intuition that you've been calling in, that you're thinking about, that you... need to take action. I don't know who this person is. But the thing is, is you're too hurt, you're too scared, you're afraid of rejection. You are. There's rejection here all over. But the thing is, is that you need to choose love or any everything else. This is the love or money, love or job, love or possessions, love or assets, love or anything. That is the meaning, and that is now the outcome. You have to make a decision, and you do have to make a decision. What is it that you want? Do you want love, or do you just want financial stability? Do you just want something glamorous? Do you just want something false? Because this is a false beginning as well. What, or do you want the love? You have to make a decision. Is it love or not? Be this a card of consequences. Be care. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. What you own owns you. If you choose the other, the other than love, real love, true love, then that's what you're going to have to live with. But. But, if you see what's mirroring it, is the Knight of Wands. Take action. Take action. Which one do you want? So, I think this is a week of you taking action towards something. But I'm not sure if you're going to. I don't think you will. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> yikes. Okay, so something very, something major is happening. It is. Something major with the devil and the tower card. Something major is happening. And there's a karmic connection, okay, between two people that's undeniable. It's like, uh, oh, you're chained. It's like you're chained to this person, okay? You know who I'm talking about. You do. You know who, you're talk who I'm talking about. There's a karmic soulmate here, okay? There is. And it looks like it. Ha there's been some sort of breakup. There's been a breakup. There's been some sort of, or there's going to be. You know, there's gonna. That's what this is. There's a shakeup on the horizon. There is. And it's because there's been there's been some sort of.
it looks like there's been some sort of addictions that there there has there's been some sort of addictions that have impacted your reality they have they have it's the truth there's addictions that have impacted your reality therefore they've caused upheaval in your love life and now i think it's time do you really i mean is that really what makes you happy Oh, the judgment card. This is about the truth. Revealing the truth. The judgment is the truth. Think about judgment day. This is also karma. Karma. You have a lot of... You're dealing with a karma here. You are, it's a karmic contract here. But anyway, do you think about judgment day in in the you know stereotypical way? Judgment day is when you, you go to heaven, per se, and go over your life with God, and you release, and the truth comes out about everything. You can't hide any truth whatsoever on judgment day, right? judgment the truth comes out it's time to release forgive yourself and others this is a card of forgiveness at judgment day you are forgiven and so this is asking you to forgive and be forgiven okay this is a card of forgiveness it is this is also a card of awakening a wake-up call it's a judgment call it's awakening so i think that this is a week of waking up And it's, it's very, it's major, it's major, it is, these are a major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, the last three cards I pulled, whatever is happening is divinely guided, okay, it is, and there's a karmic soulmate here that you've been talking to, I believe, or feeling, you've probably been feeling each other, and you know, there's been some sort of upheaval in this, whatever, this non-relationship or relationship whatever it is has been some sort of downfall caused by addictions or lust even but you can't the chains still aren't broke the chains are still aren't broke so I think that you know you have to make them this is a decision do you continue to be confused and choose the wrong path or whatever because you will you will uh Live with the consequences of your choice forever. I mean, that's what the card is. And there's regrets right under this consequences card. There's regrets. There will be regrets. There's regrets here, too. Or here. So, just whatever. Whatever. Um, so, I feel like this is a week of the truth being revealed. It is. I mean, this is truth being revealed. This is truth being revealed. Probably within yourself. And perhaps taking action in regards to this truth that comes to light. So, I feel as though there is some kind of truth that is coming out. Something is, is going to be revealed for you this week that is major, Pisces. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Is that what you're doing? Consider your foundation right over the tower card. Consider your foundation. And that's a good card, isn't it? Oh my God. I just read it. You are being asked to look out, look at how committed you are to love. How committed are you? That's the question. This is the crazy shit right here. This is foundation. And this is, I remember I was telling you earlier, are you committed to love or everything else? And I put the card right here. It's just the way it is. You can try and deny it all you want, okay? How committed are you to true love? Are you committed to just sex? Are you committed to just lust? Are you committed to addictions? Are you committed to work and just being with somebody for the hell of it but not true love? Is that what you're committed to? It's time to wake up.
Talk to you later.